statement that I talked about, uh, I get questions, it seems like, often about what is it? <laughs> you know, what is, they they want to know what is this I'm painting. And I don't really know until I finish painting it <laughs> to be really straightforward about it and, and not to uh, invent some sort of hard speak about it. Uh, I just like painting. I like the, the texture of the paint. I use a lot of paint, as you can probably tell in this painting and this painting here. Seems a little bit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and I've learned something in my old age that, uh, and I used to be a really uh, crazy painter. I'm still a crazy painter, I guess, but I, I never could resolve anything. And I always paint and then dislike it and just scrape it off or paint over it. In fact, I was fussed at by a guy that was wanting a painting from me. And every time he came over, it was different. He says, how many paintings are you going to do for that? I said, that's the same painting. <laughs> I mean, how much have you covered this and then scraped it off? Yeah. And it, it was. It was a lot of frustration and a lot of not knowing and a lot of just youthful, you know, uh, agony about and frustration of how to paint and, and learning how to paint uh, in an abstract fashion. I still have a hard time describing my piece or what category you put me in or people put me in or, other, or I put myself in. Uh, it's, it's, I guess as you could say, it's abstract expressionism maybe. Um, I'm more comfortable with that than probably any other ism I, I, out there, I guess. I, I, it seems to fit fairly well in that. Um, I, I struggled with abstraction early on. I didn't, uh, I didn't like it. A lot of it I still don't like because uh, it just seems too cold for me. It doesn't have any warmth at all. Um, it seems too mental a lot of times. It, you know, easily worked out or planned out. I don't plan anything. I just go. I just get colors that I like, and I might have a mood in mind. I might have something I want to express in terms of uh, light and like Mary Ann was talking about, it might be an evening theme or a moody theme, or it might be uh, anxiety or something, and I like to do that. <clears throat> but often it's just the painting and the paint and the, the emotion kind of comes from that. Uh, there is no Pope in the pizza, though. You know, there's not finding the Pope in the pizza kind of painting. Um, there's not any mystery to it or anything like that in terms of what is it this what does this mean or what what object is that? Um, however, I border on that. I, I play with that too. I mean, sometimes it, it, it overpowers me. It says, "Okay, I'm gonna leave that because I like it. I don't care if it looks like something else or it looks like what it seems to be or not." Um, that's pretty loose ended, but that's just the way I work. It's the way I roll, I guess. <laughs> uh, for example, uh, I, I, I spoke to somebody about this. This, this is kind of a, a sad story, but when I was painting this painting, uh, the, my approach is to just to go. I, I, I think I maybe select some colors that I enjoy. Maybe it might, I, be, I might be thinking in terms of blues, or I might be thinking warmth or warmer colors, such as something like this. But I just go and I start drawing and, and painting and, and just letting the, letting, letting the surface build, filling in the, the canvas, the, you know, just getting started. Um, I scrape a lot of times on it off, and that changes the whole thing too. Um, but I was painting this painting, and I was getting, I would say, 75% done. You know, I, I, pretty much what you see is done. And uh, I stepped back from it to look at it. And also, let me add something here that was it's kind of fun. I, I turn my paintings a lot. I don't know if any of you are painters and, and never tried to do that. In grad school, I was fussed at that, uh, turning my painting back. The teacher asked me, why do you turn your painting? Wasn't it like this last time I was here? Yeah, and I said no. It was it was this way. And he says, well, "Why are you turning your painting?" I said, "I don't know." I said, "I I I, I seem to kind of get some new ideas that way. I can look at it differently. I can 
I can disassociate myself from it and see problems that I, I don't like. He said, you shouldn't do that. He really was. You <laughs> shouldn't do that. Uh, but I think I still do it because I call it going around the horn. You know, I turn it and you look at it for about 30 minutes and I'll turn it again, look at it a different way. But when I do that, I can see the problem areas. A lot of times when I draw like this, I'm, I'm not even, I'm thinking about something else or looking at it one way and I don't see it. Then I'll say, gosh, there's something else I got to do to this, but I don't know. And I turn it and go, oh, that's awful. You know, and then if I turn it again and I keep turning it all the way around the horn, it's gone. <laughs> I'll just paint it out. And that's, that's the way I roll, I guess. I, I, have, a, I have something I want to, maybe this might help explain uh, what I like and, and what I, I'm kind of about when I paint. Um, I have an article that, that I think in my statement I say it's not about a what, but more about a why more about a feeling than a story. And there's something like this, when I, when I read this, I was on a, uh, I was on a uh, residency working with a, a guy that I really like a lot, his work, uh, Greg Raminoff, I've spoken about him before. And uh, he read this to us, just the first time out, he just read this. And I'm gonna read it to you. And you may, some of you maybe have heard it or read it before. The old scene presented itself one day before my eyes, framed in an opening between two trees. It stood out like a painted canvas, the deep blue of a midday sky, a solitary tree, a brilliant with green of early summer, a foundation of brown earth and gnarled roots. There was no detail to vex the eye. Three solid masses of form and color, sky, foliage, and earth. The whole bathed in an atmosphere of golden luminosity. I threw my brushes aside. They were too small for the work at hand. I squeezed out big chunks of pure, moist color. And taking my palette knife, I laid on blue, green, white, and brown in great sweeping strokes. As I worked, I saw that it was good and clean and strong. I saw nature springing into life on my dead canvas. It was better than nature, for it was vibrating with the thrill of a new creation. Exultantly, I painted until the sun sank below the horizon, and then I raced around the field like a coat let loose and bellowed for joy. Albert Pinkham Ryder. Um, and I read that, wow, that's, that's it. That's what it's about. That's the thrill artists get, uh, just the excitement of doing something that they've never done before, probably, and just and finding something in that that uh, keeps you going on, keeps you moving on. Steve, I've, I've seen your work for many years, mm -hmm. and uh, what I'm noticing in these, mm -hmm. which is different from what I'm more familiar with over the years, mm -hmm. is that you're using a lot stronger color, more intense color, and you're, you're kind of defining forms and shapes more, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe a little bit more texture, but mm -hmm. you always use texture. Mm -hmm. So my question is, is this a direction you're moving toward, or is this just this body of work. I, I think so. I, I, I like I like all of the above, and I guess I, I'll change when I get tired of it. But uh, I know I still like paint. I like the discovery in paint. I like the the surprises paint can give you. You know, and like, ooh, I didn't I didn't plan on that, but that's beautiful. And I have to remember. Well, now after it can, I can remember now, I used this color and this color, and that worked out well. I I've learned to accept the fact that I'm gonna get lost. Every painting, I'm gonna struggle. Every painting has a catch. Like, I've got to, I've got to move on, but what do I do? What, where do I go, what do I do next? And it, it, takes, it takes courage. It takes courage to get in there and just like Marianne was talking about, and, 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 and you were talking about it, it, it takes kind of, 
takes guts to come in there and say, I've got to change that. I don't know what to change it to, but I've got to change it. You know, it's wrong or it just doesn't look so good. After I go around the horn and see the problem area, I say, I've got to do that. But I have to go into it the same framework and attitude and approach that I painted it. I can't go in and do this. It has to be. It has to be like that. Because that's the way I paint. I paint, you know, quickly and I can't, I can't try to make it pretty. Because it just go, oh, it'd be hard. It would be, be a different painting. Totally different. There is a lot of similarity between, even though Ryder was a, primarily a landscapist mm -hmm. uh, and there were more definable landscape forms, but there's a, there is a lot of Ryder in I love this work. I love this. Isn't it great? Crazy's alone. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm not saying no, no, no. <laughs> but, uh, but, but the, the emotion that he felt yeah. from that process, <laughs> your artist out there, you know what it is when you and you discover something that's exciting, and it's just like, it's the best. It's really exciting to, to finally feel like you've done something worthwhile, done something more. It's very elusive, though. <laughs> you can't depend on it any, any other time. It just might, might happen again, but. I guess you put your paintings in time out sometimes. I often. <laughs> every, every, ti every time, there's gonna, there's gonna be problems. There's always a, I've never painted a painting that I just went, oh yeah, that's, I'm done. <laughs> it's perfect, just like it is. No, it's always a catching point. It's yes. always something that. It's a struggle. Yeah, it's always a struggle, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I've learned that instead of, you know, fighting it or trying to figure it out, that you, I don't think you can think your way through it. You have to paint your way through it. You know, you have to go in and say, you can think of like, oh, do I need a cooler color here, or a redder, or a warmer color here? Is it enough? You know. And then when you start kind of figuring out what you can do, then then you need to approach it with the same hand that you went into it when you started it. You know, if it was it quick? Uh, is it a gesture mark that you're trying to fix, or is it you know, or what is it? And you have to go with it with that same attitude. So yeah. every time when you try to fix it, you know that's your best. But when it comes out not necessarily your best, how do you <coughs> overcome that? happens that? a lot too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. How Absolutely. Sometimes it's not right still. You know? Overcome your defeat. You just gotta you gotta go around the horn again. You gotta <laughs> keep turning it and 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 are you. I've, I'm, I've gotten better at that. I've gotten used to it. I used, when I was younger, I would paint and it would, uh, like I said, I would scrape it off and it would put more on and it was just as bad or not worse or blah, 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 until it was this thick. And it was still bad, you know, there still wasn't any good. And I guess you, the older you get, to, you start learning how to do it a little bit better. Do you, uh, do you have any uh, uh, musical influences with, with the do you paint in silence or do you, I mean, um, like, like, again, Ryder, you know, yeah. if, if he were living in our day, he would have Wagner. Probably so, but, yeah. Wow. Uh, I, I used to listen to music, you know, listen to, but I, I, was, I found myself doing more tapping and <laughs> bopping and moving around and painting, so right. I had to kind of, you know, nix that a little bit. <laughs> I just find abstraction like, like Adrian says, hard, <laughs> you know. But painting for me, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to follow a roadmap necessarily. I, I mean, to, if I was drawing Van here, I, you know, I can, I can draw Van, I can get fairly close. But it, it doesn't challenge me as much as trying to come up with something, kind of, as from here or wherever it comes from. Abstraction is hard, it really is, and I think everybody even. You've done abstraction, so every, you know it's difficult to make it valid. I guess is a good word, or powerful something.